March, half of the world essentially stopped. Travel, industry, work. But the work that we do here at Catholic Charities, we couldn't afford for our work to stop because too many people depend on us, not just for the nice things that they need to have, but the things that they must have in order to survive. We didn't have a choice but to continue to move forward. Before the pandemic, this dining room was jam-packed with clients every day. We were averaging about 580 meals a day. We had to make changes. And all of a sudden, we were shut down. It wasn't a gradual sort of thing. Catholic Charities turned on a dime to help. The volunteers come in daily, COVID or not, risking their own health to make sure that our clients receive a hot meal. And through the resources that were available to us, we were able to pivot and provide some different options for families. Up to COVID, all the classes and courses we took at Catholic Charities were indoors. This class is kind of meant to be a like daughter and mom class or you know a family class and not more of an like isolated like classroom kind of environment. It's actually been exciting to provide different options. So we adapted the delivery of our services. Uh, now we're able to meet one-on-one. -on -one. You know, I, I was homeless and on the streets for almost a year and every day I'm thankful for Catholic Charities because uh, their courses that we went through in parenting have just changed our lives. Without them, we wouldn't have our daughter right now. And every day I'm thankful for her because without her, who knows where I would be. We adapted the delivery of our services by providing things online. We are also um, meeting virtually. What is that? Pumpkin. And rather than have folks go without anything to eat, we were doing sack lunches. And then we would hand those out to clients to eat outside. Half the world stopped when COVID hit. We kept going. We have to maintain social distancing, not just with the clients when we feed them, but also with food preparation, the serving of the food, the entire piece. So, but they were getting a sandwich and a fruit, so they could take it with them. It, uh, this is the only place that was open was Catholic Charities, and they helped out helped out a lot of people. Our clients' hunger didn't disappear because of the pandemic. In the last few months, we have seen at least two of our partner agencies close their food pantries. And so many of the clients that we serve, if they're coming in for financial assistance, they are in dire straits. So if we are opening a food pantry in the family dining room at the Marion House, and what you're seeing here today are refrigerators and freezers that are filled with fresh dairy products and fresh fruits and vegetables. We've got racks of shelf-stable foodstuffs. So our clients can come through on a monthly basis and can open up the refrigerator doors and they can grab that gallon of milk. They can put those things in their shopping cart and they can go home and they can make their own meal. We are so blessed to have the partnerships that we have. Like this Winter Coat giveaway partnered with the Knights of Columbus. Here, families that couldn't afford warm winter coats can get them. That's a small. At no cost. <laughs> For many moms, it's the first time they see their kids get a brand new coat. And for the children, it's the first time they get a choice. In another example, our partnership with Safeway made possible a day-long turkey giveaway. Here you are, ma'am. Oh, <laughs> this is for you. Here, complete Thanksgiving meals with all the trimmings helped many homes have a wonderful holiday. Part of what we're doing is for those who can't get transportation here, us as life coaches are going to be able to take those two directly to families. Once again, when the clients couldn't come to us, we went to them. 
We took responsibility for those who need us most. Let's check in with the 11 breaking news center now. Catholic Charities of Central Colorado recently hit a big milestone while helping families in need during the pandemic. John, you talked with Catholic Charities. What are they doing to help? Adam, they're helping people stay in their homes who, for instance, now during the pandemic can't pay their rent. I've worked hard all my life. I was a service advisor at an independent facility in cleaning homes. I purchased this home by myself 11 years ago. So this is my home. This is the house that I nearly lost. It started with losing a lot of the work that I was doing on the side cleaning and then COVID hits and things get worse. People were out of, out of work. They were canceling jobs on me. At that point, I didn't know what to do. Uh, it was either lose my home or ask for help. I didn't know what I was going to do. I was calling around. I was asking for help. And to think that you're going to lose everything, just be gone overnight. What about people that have homes, that have worked hard for their homes, that are still in their homes and don't have anything left? I called Catholic Charities at that point. After five months of thinking you're going to lose everything, it only took Catholic Charities 15 days to help me. Because of Catholic Charities, my father and I have a roof over our head. This year, the nonprofit Catholic Charities has had more requests for rental assistance than ever. If it weren't for them, I don't know what I would have done. The families are so grateful that they have someone here in the community that they can reach out to for support. I will never forget what Catholic Charities did for me. They're always going to have a piece of my heart. Every time I look online and I see their name, I think about what they did for me. And that's a lot. A lot. The effects of COVID-19 will continue to impact our programs and those we serve for quite some time. We have a long way to go to return to our new normal. We're so grateful for your support throughout the year, especially during this pandemic. We ask that you continue to support our efforts in providing help and creating hope for our vulnerable community members. Thank you, Catholic Charities, and all those who give to Catholic Charities. May God bless you. Without Catholic Charities, uh, I, don't, I don't know where I'd be at without Catholic Charities, and I, I thank God for them.